I think this was the bit that I mentioned where I said I had massive difficulty trying to sneak through. And it's probably going to be no different this time. Stay together. Hunt them down. I need to just... Okay. Right. I guess going for him is probably not a bad idea. And that way we can get a weapon as well. Um... I'd rather... Oh, okay, I kept the grenades. I think there were some... some bits to climb over here. I might try and make use of those. Okay, there's someone over there. Might be a back way. Oh, okay, fine. Moving. You see again, <laughs> cover fail. I was trying to get him to go here. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, there's a guy up there. Okay, there's way too many of these guys. Honestly, you're not going to sneak through here. Look at that. It's like ten. Right. This time I'm going to head into that room again straight away. Let's see if that's going to make things easier. I'll go in a bit more prepared this time. Oh, he did not He did not stay there at all. He stayed there for half a second. But you see, any time you get seen, there's no kind of, uh, you know, he doesn't have to alert his friends or anything. Any time any of them see you, it instigates uh, a skirmish. I, wanna, I will get that guy without being seen. I'm going to make that my aim. There you go. <laughs> One way or the other, I was always going to take you out. Right. Can I get down there without... Okay. I never tried this route last time, so this might be a pretty good option. Although again, there's just there's people, there's sentries posted everywhere. Okay, still no one has seen me. I'm surprised. I always wonder with these kind of places, is it a case of you have to defeat everyone in order to progress, or if I somehow manage to get to where I need to go without uh, being seen, can I still get through? Or will the game just do something in order to start a, start a fight? I don't think there's any way I'm getting up these stairs without being seen. Keep a lookout while I search the area. Up. Okay, so I'm safe in here. And to be honest, I think that's where I need to go, just where that guy is standing. If I can just get past him as well, then I think I I would have reached my target, so there is an outside chance I might be able to stealth this bit. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. That's what I wanted to do. And I think this is where I needed to go. Wasn't it? I swear this is where I had to go. Yeah, this is the, the place with the symbol. Where's Cutter? Oh, I hate it when this happens. I don't want to jump over there in case I've made a mistake, but I'm not getting give, given any hints either. I'm just going to wait here until the game gives me a hint, because I know I need to be here, but 
there's no way for me to jump here. If I jump and I fall down, I'm going to get seen. And it would have ruined all of the hard work. Ah, hold on. Actually, there's that there. I think that's where I need to go. And there's no sign of Cutter again. I mean, surely we should be doing this thing together. What is going on? This is what I mean. It seems like because I haven't gotten into a skirmish, the game has no idea what's going on. And it's not letting me progress. I'm in the right place. There's nowhere to climb here. Ugh. It's frustrating. Okay, I think I think in a minute I'm just going to have to purposely start off uh, a gunfight and just take everyone out because the game is giving me nothing. No word from Cutter, no hints appearing, no nothing. So, fine. Take him down. And if that is the case, then that's terrible game design because it forces you, it doesn't reward stealth at all. Oh, he's still coming. Come on. There's another one. I'm not going to let that shotgun guy kill me now after all this. I'm going to let Cutter help me out because after all this messing about and waiting for the game to allow me to progress... Right, okay, so what's changed? Nothing. Cutter's still not saying anything to me. Let me get some bullets at least if I can. Okay, better than nothing. Right, so... Come on, this way. You got it. Terrible game design, <laughs> I'm sorry. There is no other excuse. Oh. This is a... Yes. Oh. I knew it couldn't be that simple. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It, it wasn't a storage room a thousand years ago. No, 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 mate. We are missing something. Hey, hold on, hold on. The statues, you see? One hand up, one hand down. Yeah. Look, above, below. It's the same theme again and again. So, just another breadcrumb on the trail? Oh, it certainly looks that way. Let me see the scope again. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, I'm still frustrated about that. Yeah, okay, so this is the symbol that we saw when we were trying to get this cutscene to happen. I guess because during the cutscene they're just casually conversing, if there's still guards around then obviously the cutscene doesn't really work because they make their position very clear. So at least either an objective should come up to say eliminate all of the guards or something because if you have stealthed it like I did there then you have no indicator of, of what you need to do next. So I think that was uh, that was pretty poor. Hey, here's that symbol again. And now I need to look for that symbol, so where's the scope? Yeah, maybe it's not in the sky this time, but down below somewhere. Wait, yeah, there. Aha. Uh -huh. As below, so above? Yeah. All right, so now move the scope upward. What do you see? Oh, okay. Yeah, if I was uh, if I was working as a localization test of this game, I'd definitely query that situation because that's just not normal. They probably wouldn't have fixed it, but yeah, those pillars. 
That's gotta be it. All right, let's get over there and check it out. Yeah, we'll meet up with Sully and Chloe on the way. They're over there! Shit! They spotted us! Come on, Charlie, we can't stay pinned down here! Right. We gotta move! Okay, so this time he said we gotta move. Let's keep moving. Oh, shit. Hey, it's Sully! Slightly delayed, but okay. He just flew across the screen. Crazy things are happening once again. It always seems to happen when I play Uncharted. I don't know why. It's weird things. Okay, that's a bit. Some of that. Oh, I fell into a random little hole. Anyway, need to just stay alive here. Not quite sure which way I have to go again. All right, here we go again. Come on, there we go. Oh, you little fucking. How? <laughs> Any more? Whoa! Yes. That was Sully. Okay, snipers two. It's never a good thing. Get to the pillars from that tower. From which one? <clears throat> which tower? Sometimes I wish we could just have an objective thing that we could switch on or switch off. I get that they want to maintain as cinematic a look as possible, but come on, we gotta meet up with those guys. Okay. <clears throat> There we go, finally. You two all right? Yeah, still in one piece anyway. Come on, I think we're onto something. Good to see you're all right. You too. All right, let's try and solve the mystery of these pillars. I think this was genuinely, genuinely the last thing that I did two and a half months ago. So I've caught up. Right, there's the wall. All right, the crypt entrance should be here someplace. Well. What does Lawrence have to say about it? He doesn't. <laughs> this is as far as he got. Well, what are our chances then? Symbolically, two pillars are used to mark a gateway. Swell. Which two? And a gateway to what? Well, another realm, a holy place, a place of initiation. Oh, doesn't that sound like fun? Right. Am I going to have to whip out the, the book here? Okay. I have no more pages beyond hey, this. Maybe around the corner. Yeah, all right. You found it? No. Give it to me. Good. Now the journal. Thank you. Don't trust Drake. The hell's Charlie? Who knows? No, no, no! Shit. He 
He's gone. How in the world? Hey, Charlie, you okay? Huh? Charlie? What the hell? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man, what kind of black ops bullshit is this? Let's just hope he didn't have a big dose. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Easy now. Look at me. Charlie, right here. Come on, we gotta move now, okay? Just don't touch me. Get away from me. All right, all right. No one's touching you, Charlie. What the hell was in that dart? Your face is peeling off. Well, whatever it was, he's tripping balls. Charlie, listen. Hey, you're okay. Get up! I won't let you take me. Hey, nobody's taking you anywhere. Just, just come with us, okay? Yeah. Oh, no. The floor's melting. We can't stay here. We gotta move. How? Our only hope is to find the crypt entrance. Great. Any ideas? Well, Charlie was onto something. I just don't know what. The wand of the magician. Oh, man. Without his journal, we're never gonna find it. Just let me think. All right. Uh, hermetic. From the Greek, Hermes, meaning pillar. I think we got that part. The seven pillars of wisdom? Between mercy and severity. Wait. Wait, we've got no. this all wrong. <laughs> it isn't the space between the pillars. It's the middle pillar. Balance. What? It was in Charlie's book. No. The pillar of balance oh. between the two extremes. Between oh, no. black and white, water and fire, yeah. Yeah. female and male. The middle way. The middle way. Okay, that sounds pretty logical. So, let's check it out. That's it. Sully, give me a hand with this. All right, come on. No, no, no. No, it's okay, Charlie. Come on, mate. All right, so classic Uncharted. So as realistic as it is, it does have some moments where it likes to bend the rules. Way up and the way down are one and the same. Uh-huh. Here you go. This way. So Charlie has been injected with some strange, Looks like we'll have to uh, here. well, hypnosis slash well, LSD type ahead. thing. I'll help Charlie. So, right. yeah. Okay. Is it? Does it help him overcome his fear? No. Go on, buddy. You're okay. The walls are melting. Where are you taking me? I'm just gonna get right through here, okay? Just why are you doing this? You're gonna be alright, buddy. Stop touching me! You're alright. Take it easy. Take it easy, Charlie. Alright, we're through. Wait. Another package up ahead. Just go on. I've got him. We'll light the way for you. This is so awkward. Come on, mate. We're almost there. Just go. Just go. Just go. It just sounds wrong when Americans say mate. Right, okay. This is looking more like it. Keep moving. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, no, no. Charlie, go on. Come on, just one more. I won't let you! Oh, shit. Whoa. Okay. This is the kind of re relationship I was expecting to, to have with Charlie at the start of the game, so... I just... don't get up! <laughs> I'm not gonna fight you! Charlie is tripping. Don't. I think I have to fight him, I don't have a choice here. Just, uh... Count just counter. Without hurting him too much. Whoa. I believe he can kill you here, so if you don't Listen. defend yourself, he will take you out. He's a big guy. I don't want to have to hurt you. Come on, knock him out. We'll just have to knock him out until he until the hypnosis thing wears off. I think you will get close to dying here because uh, you have to remember the cutscene that comes afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, that first hit, it just doesn't let you avoid it. 
I'm not gonna fight you. Stop it. We will eventually get into the grey health, I think. You see, I'm not letting him hit me here, but it's just going on and on and on. Come on, man. It's me. It's Nate. <laughs> so as you can see, if you keep dodging his attacks, it seems like he just doesn't progress. It's the same thing over and over. So let me... This is interesting because it's, again, it's a little bit silly. There we go. So we have to get this to happen, otherwise if you get stuck in that corner, then it never progresses. Charlie, you're killing Nate. Okay, you gotta listen to me. You are killing Nate. Charlie! <coughs> Jesus. Here. Here, we got you. I'm alright. Here we go. I'm alright. You weren't. <laughs> you weren't gonna shoot me, were you, mate? Like a rabid dog. Wow. Let's try this again. I'll go first this time. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Follow me. 